Leveroni Formula, giving fitness products a good name. Yo, what's up, fellas? Kevin Leveroni, TLR in the house, my man Sweeney in the back, narrating. Loving all the comments coming in, guys. Loving it, loving it, loving it. You know, this whole testosterone thing, you guys took it to another level with these comments. So, what I'm going to do is bring Dr. Rashid in on the TLR so that he can help educate you guys out there that don't know about low testosterone. Bottom line is, yeah, I have the best genetics in the bodybuilding history. I can walk in a gym and grow. But guess what? I'm also not dumb. And if I have an issue going on with low T, I'm going to get it looked into. And I can tell you, just like back in the day when I used to compete, eat, sleep, train, I train on the best equipment, I put the best food in my body, and I took the best of, you know what, you know what I'm referring to that was out there that I needed in the IFBB. So I haven't touched a steroid since 2003. And guess what? Yes, I do have buy identical pellets in my ass and that's what's making me feel good right now and all I can say is if you guys feel grumpy and bad and upset go to lifeforce.com lifeforcemd.com and check it out you know uh, but enough enough of that said I gotta get into this workout and we're keeping it old school we're in the gym training hard now because that's what you guys want Norwegian, big shout out to you. And uh, we're doing shrugs, man. Old school shrugs. Tell them what's up with these shrugs, sweetie. Okay, guys, listen, this is fourth set. We did a, a set at 225, a set at 315, another set at 405. Now we're doing a final set at 405. The important thing in this move, in my, in my opinion, is simply this. A comfortable grip, which would be about shoulder width. And then, you know, this Kevin's using straps. That's okay, fine. You know, it, it's hard to keep that bar from rolling in your hands and hard to support that much weight. But you're going to notice we're shooting for about six reps here. There will be a brief pause at the, at the top of the repetition. Kevin will keep his head up. Now, too many people I see doing this in the gym, they drop their head as they're doing this exercise. Okay, this is what you've been asking for. 405, set of six. Five. Four, that little pause at the top. Come on, yeah. Three, two, come on. Give me one more. That's one it. One more, baby, one more. You got it? Nice All right, done. guys. And that's what's up, man. You got to train hard or go home. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's nothing out there that can make you train hard. Either you got it in your DNA to go for it or you don't. That's what separates a champion from someone not being able to train hard and go through the pain and agony. Because at the end of the day, guys, it's about hard work and dedication. But it's also about staying fit, healthy, and know what you can do, all right? So I challenge you guys out there, get with the full kind of program, baby, and I'll see you in the gym. So. I'm matter of fact, I'm going to do another set of 500 because that's how good I'm feeling. Okay, guys, again, what you've been asking for, final set of barbell shrugs, 500 pounds. Now, uh, Kevin, don't want to embarrass you, brother, but uh, back in my day, I, I used to squat this for about 10 times. <laughs> I know you did much more than that. I'm just picking at you. But uh, come on, brother. Squeeze them out. Nice, old school, hardcore, getting big. That's what it's all about. Let's go. 500. Come on. <laughs> Good. That little pause at the top, then that's important. Don't you guys miss that? And notice again the head position. Head is up, not ducking. In. Nice. Good set. How'd that feel? Felt like my freaking head was going to explode out of my skull. Well, I'm glad that didn't happen. But we got two more exercises we're going to do because we're hitting traps from every angle right. today, not just one. But it also felt good. It felt good to feel that steel. And to uh, grab that steel brings back a lot of good memories, baby, and that's what's up. So just like Todd said, man, we're keeping it old school. And uh, you see how big I can get off these pellets, right, Sweeney? Absolutely. We're going to do it. That's what's up, man. Two more exercises coming. Hang on. All right, guys. We're into uh, incline. 
dumbbell shrugs. I got a hundred. So, Squeeze is going to let you know what's up. All right, well, listen, we do these face dead on the incline bench. Why? Well, it's a different angle from a standing barbell shrug or a standing dumbbell shrug. But again, you will see the brief pause at the top. And this is going to actually hit the traps just a little lower down, more towards the middle part of the back than it is the upper portion of the trap. And listen, we're looking for total back development. When I'm judging a national competition, it's my job to find what's wrong with you, not what's right with you. So it's my job in the gym to make sure that every part of the body is developed. All right. That was a set with the 100s. And uh, we're doing four sets, so we're going into the 120s. Matter of fact, with these 120s, I'm not going to use the racks. All right, here we go, guys. Listen, old school hardcore. This is what you want to know about. You want big, thick upper back and traps. You got to shrug. You got to shrug heavy. That's all there is to it. You guys want to get big? Got to train tough, man. That's what it's all about, baby. <laughs> right, sweetie? Right, okay. Full blown in the house. Absolutely. So, well, you know what? I, I, I told the story a little bit earlier. We're going to do two more exercises, not one more, because I really want to throw this info out there to, to, to all the fans on TLR. So what's the next exercise you're going to do? All right. Well, we're going to go to a, uh, a rope pull down behind the neck to work the lower portion of the trap. Then I'm going to do some static holds on the free motion machine. All, all right. right. So we're going to do some rope pull downs behind the neck, a little bit of statics, and uh, keep those comments coming in, baby. I'm loving it. That's why I'm in the gym pumped up. Pumped up and a little pissed off. <laughs> Feeling good, baby. Feeling good. That's all right. Okay. All right. So let's check out this next exercise, guys. That's what's up, man. Hope you guys are out there busting your ass in the gym, too, like I am. And uh, it's all about helping one another on TLR, baby. So it's all good. Education. It's all good. Education. And uh, let's get that workout in, though. Let's talk more, more focus, training, visualization. All right, guys. Third exercise. This is rope pull downs behind the neck, so we're just going to tell you what's up. All right, go ahead, Ty. Okay, listen. I'm going to tell you, after Kevin's first Olympia competition, when he took second place at Dorian Yates, a controversial second place in my opinion, we sat down, we looked at pictures, we looked at comparisons, and when we looked at his back, there was a certain area in the middle part of the traps that, you know, Dorian always had a great back. Well, listen, Kevin's back improved. Here we're using a rope handle on the overhead pulley. Notice he's leaned into the exercise. And trying to touch, even though this won't happen, you try to touch the balls of the rope handle to your rear deltoids. I promise you, you'll feel this in your traps more than you even think you will. I think we've shared this one other time on, on TLR, but it's very important today in our mass building trap routine that we hit you from every angle. Again, you wouldn't think this would hit your traps at all, but I promise you, you'll, you'll, you'll feel it big time. Now, I'd love to hear the comments. So, what's up, baby? All right. No time for talking. Let's go to the next exercise, man. Okay, guys. Finishing up traps here with a static hold on the free motion machine. i got to tell you, this stuff works. It really does. It's a great variety. We've done some heavy basic compound stuff. Now we're finishing up. Notice the elbows are high, higher than hands. The hands come up about chin level. It's a modified version of an upright row, but holding that one arm in the contracted position while you're working the other and causes all the nerve endings to fire. And <laughs> tell the expression on Kevin's face that this this is work. Now let's get five together. Come on. Five. Shit. Come on. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. You know what? All, all I got to say about this, if you don't have traps after doing this for a few weeks, don't blame me because you did something wrong. This is good stuff. What's up, baby? Hey guys, Todd Sweeney here on TLR. Going in, Kevin. Have a seat. 
We had a, a great workout today at the gym. Uh, I apologize for my allergy eyes and my little sinus infection here, you know. But uh, listen, I want to clear up something about this hormone optimization therapy that, uh, that, that actually Kevin is participating in, and I will be too. Um, if you had an unhealthy level of cholesterol, if you had an unhealthy level of blood pressure, if you had unhealthy blood sugar levels, would you do the right things, listen to your medical doctor, and take the necessary precautions to prevent those things? If you had arteriosclerosis or atherosclerosis, you would prevent that stuff, right? Listen, we're only talking about optimizing your hormone levels, just bringing them back into normal because they decline. In the past, we have always looked at this as just part of the aging process. When men lose sleep patterns, when men lose libido, and when men have ED, and when men get irritable, and we can't focus, and we can't concentrate, we just said, oh, we're getting old. You know what? I'm 49. I ain't grown up yet. Yeah. Much less old. I just wanted to clear, clear something up uh, as far as myself. I don't mind talking about uh, synthetic steroids because I didn't take steroids, but I haven't taken them since 2003 up to, to date today. I'm still not on any steroids. And when I started the TLR, the Brunner Report transformation, my first transformation, I was able to gain three to five pounds of muscle a week. Uh, that was not contributed to any synthetic steroids. That was just my genetics. Um, I just, for the first time in my life, had my uh, test levels tested. Um, and they were 260 to 277. And, and Dr. Rashid, uh, he, he tested me through Quest Diagnostics. And I also did a, a drug test to request diagnosis because you guys, some guys thought that I was on steroids because I gained muscle so quick. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, I just took uh, hormone optimization, optimi optimi opt hormone bioidentical treatment uh, actually six weeks ago was, it, uh, was, was when the doctor implemented the uh, uh, pellets in me. And only did it because they're they're natural uh, pellets. And I actually took another uh, steroid test about four days ago. So what we're going to do is have Dr. Rashid on. He's a you know he's known nationwide. And he's a professional when it comes to uh, genetics and testosterone. And this man is very very busy. Uh, I trust him as as my physician. Uh, we teamed up. And we opened up an HRT clinic uh, here in Owings Mills called LifeForceMD.com only because we want to help, help you guys, we want to help educate people around there, around the world who have uh, low testosterone because it could be dangerous. So what I want you guys to do is uh, email me personally, Levroni2000 at Yahoo.com, any questions that you have for the doctor. And I have a two-hour window with him uh, Sunday. So I'm going to try to jam all of this, all of you guys' questions and get him out there so that he can answer those questions within a five-minute uh, window. Right. And uh, again, guys, you know, it's uh, it's just the TLR is about educating and helping one another. And bringing our best. And bringing our best. You bringing know? the experts. We're bringing in the experts. And uh, we're trying to provide you guys with all that stuff. And you know, just to keep it real, I, I can grow just by walking in a gym and doing Set. So I don't know why. I, I have no idea. I don't. Matter of fact, that's a question that I want to ask the uh, doctor. Is it something to do with my HGH levels, which I never had those checked either? Um, but it's just best to take all precautions in, in in every area, you know. So that's what's up, man. And uh, Kevin Laroni, Todd Sweeney in the house. Hey, man, I appreciate it. To bring it to you guys. Thank you guys for all your nice comments. Peace.